Hey, yo, look who fell asleep first. Prank him, John. <laughs> you already know. Due to this prank here made by myself because I'm crazy sometimes, I decided it's time to build a new camp. So I decided to open a brand new pizzeria in the Myers to help welcome new players and to provide a new safe place in one of the most dangerous part of the maps. Now you may be asking, why a pizzeria? See, I'm a FNAF fan since FNAF 2, so I decided to build a pizzeria inspired by Finance of Freddy's. Now keep in mind, Due to how weird Finance of Freddy 1 building looking in the blueprints and due to some of the limits in Fallout and some cosmetics I don't have, I don't have an exact copy of Finance of Freddy Pizzeria, but it's sort of similar. This pizzeria is cryptid themed because in Fallout 76, you tend to face a lot of cryptid creatures, which is probably one of the cool part about this game. This build took me a long time to do. Basically 5 hours, cause there's something I wasn't just happy, especially pirate cold part of the building. I want to feel more than just a podium, so this was just me improvising and expanding a bit off the FNAF 1 pizzeria location. As you can see here, it's sort of similar to the Finance of Freddy's 1 map, and there is some differences that most FNAF fans will probably notice. So let's go ahead and start the tour. We'll go from the right from the entrance and make our way around the place. So when you first turn right, you will see that this is not Pyra Cove. I call this place Trailblazer Den. The main focus of this part is western cowboy stuff. Fallout tends to have a lot of reference to westerns and cowboys. So that's why it's not pirate theme, it's cowboy theme. However, I did make the character here sort of similar to Foxy. His mascot mask is the Fast Not Blue Devil which is sort of like a werewolf type creature that you face in the wasteland and his clothing that he is wearing is the West Coast Dusters. You see what's around him in this in here is western themed stuff and above the stage is a bunch of plushies. Most of these stuffs are earned through in game. The only thing that is not in game would be the West Coast Duster outfit which is a Fallout 4 exclusive for this month. This mascot doesn't have a name yet, so if you have any suggestion of what to name the cowboy here, leave a comment down below. Now we move over to the left and we have the world biggest slot machine. Nothing really special about it, just a slot machine to spend caps in hope of getting more caps. You get this plan from either the weekly plan of the Atlantic Expedition or you can just buy it from Giuseppe from the White Spring Refuge. Moving over to the left, we have the hallway that leads down to the office, the security guard office. The first door to the right, if you remember from FNAF 1, this is supposed to be the supply closet by will hide in. I did improve such and make sure the closet is, is here. However, inside is the symptomatic and behind it is the fusion core generator. Just in case anyone gets food poisoning, which wouldn't happen whatsoever, we have a place where the customer can get healed real quick. However, we are not liable if the customer does become blind for the symptomatic. Moving on for such and going down to the last door of the hall, we get to the security guard room, which the security guard of the pizzeria will be at. You can see that I don't waste time with human guards and I got myself a top of the line of Sautron for <coughs> um, protection purposes. <laughs> Now there's not much in here in the security guard room, I wish I could add more details into this, but then again I'm already reaching the limit with this build already, and it's a very big build, keep in mind. Now moving on for the security guard room, we get to the second hallway, to the right of the door that leads out the security guard room, there's a punch card machine, so the employees can clock in here before starting their shift. We are currently hiring, and if you are interested in joining the team, let me know in the comments. You will get paid in literally nothing, and there is no benefits whatsoever. Uh, the only benefit you most likely will get, you can eat from the trash can when the customer is not looking. Now going down the hallway, you can see the drink area, which all of these is open as free to be taken from. The pristine Nuka Cola machine is stock, however, be warned bloody build, there is Nuka Grape in this machine, so I'd be careful if I were you, if you want to drink from this machine. Now going down, there is a Nuka machine that could have seen better days, however, this is a door, and behind this door is the kitchen. This is where the chef come in and do their magic. We have the cooking station, fridge, 
brewing and, and fermenting station. You may be asking what food we'll be serving at this pizzeria, since it's a pizzeria inspired by FNAF, so we'll be serving pepperoni rolls. It's a great food item that provide a boost to carry it is a great food item that even provide a boost to your carry capacity. A good item to make and serve for all the amazing vault drillers that is exploring the wasteland. Moving on from the kitchen and across, this is the price counter. We have the vendor here in charge of the prices. You can also buy food, drink, gun, and armor. It's not in stock at this moment because it's not ready, but once it's stock, it will be available for all people to purchase from. Now moving to the left, you can see there is a trampoline. We are not liable if you fell and hit your head. Whack a comic game, the bottle blaster, and a roulette table. Past these and into the hallway, there is two doors, which is the bathroom. Blue is the men restroom and white is the women restroom. Currently no sink at the moment due to no atoms and the items are never available at the atom shop when I do have it. Uh, moving on from that, we are going to the dining area where all the players welcome to come by and chat, drink and eat and make friends. And of course the main stage where we have the rest of the cast. Most mascot characters do not have names, they are still to be determined as I'm not great with names at all. So if you have any suggestion, you can leave it down below. To start off, we have the main star, praise be the light, I decided to go with the Mothman. Since Mothman really has more impact in the game in which a cult is dedicated to him, I decided to make the Mothman the lead. You may be like, but Bondro, that's an owl mask, not a moth Mothman mask. Well, guess what? Not everyone have atoms to buy everything from the store, and besides that, the cult of the Mothman used an owl mask to represent the Mothman. So it basically count as a Mothman mask in my book. So suck it up and use your imagination. The clothing to this outfit is the Mothman Wing Clipper outfit, which is only available in the Atomic Shop. I bought this when it was first released as I always thought it looked cool. To the right is the Sea Squatch. Her head is the Sea Squatch mascot head, which can be earned from the event Encrypted. And the clothing she is wearing is the Blaze Chef outfit, which is the reward you can get from the seasonal event Meat Week. And the left to the Mothman is an Agua. I did come up with her name for her and I named her Opal the Agua. The mask she is wearing is the Foshnut Glowing Agua Mask, which is only from the Atomic Shop. The outfit she is wearing is an Agua Hunter outfit and Backpack Skin is the Agua Shell, which both can be achieved from the Beast of Burden event. As you can see, none of these characters are haunted, or are they? Lastly, to the left of this stage is a wall full of stuff and a vault door that leads to the back room. This is where most of the crafting bench, scrap box, and ammo box are located. Now, if you are a diehard FNAF fan like I, like I am, you can already said, but Bondro, the back room was located next to the pirate cove and not behind the not behind the stage. And my response is for you is to deal with it. Honestly, I tried my best to make this to a one to one FNAF one location, but it's very difficult to do such with the limit of the Fallout camp build. As well, the entrance to which lead into the building is pointing to the direction of the road, which again is why the entrance and the back room had to switch places. So deal with it, it's my pizzeria. As well, I don't have a name for the pizzeria yet, since there's no name for the Mothman yet. So whatever name is chosen will most likely be used for the name of the pizzeria. But yeah, that is my FNAF inspired pizzeria. This is where it's located on the map. It's located in the Myers. Come by and have some fun. There is no purple man here. Just a man in a red suit. Come here, play some game, meet new people, eat, drink to your heart content. This place is definitely not haunted and there's no one that went missing here whatsoever. Please don't look for anything. We are not liable for any dead bodies. Um, please don't report me. I do kind of want like a span about it, especially with the whole vault shelter. Fallout has these shelters that you can go into and customize as well. I was thinking of maybe expanding the pizzeria through these shelters as well if you, if you did, guys think that'd be a good idea. However, th and here's some tips for people who want to like start building and want to make, you know, expand their build or try to learn a bit more. Take inspiration. Again, the main reason why I did it is because I enjoy FNAF, so I kind of want to bring it close to this world, like in Fallout. There's so many creative people out there that is able to take these janky cap camp system and work with it to, and work with it in this Fallout world. So take notes what you want to do. Check the world. Where do you want to do it? I chose the Mire as I do enjoy the Mire a lot. Uh, and great cr and get creative and have fun with building and take your time with it improvise like i said fallout building system isn't perf really perfect so don't be afraid to improvise a lot a wood is the resources that you most likely will use a lot throughout this entire build i do recommend getting in the park wood chucker and going because flat wood there is a bunch of area where you can get wood scrap and you can get a bunch of wood scrap from there 
I did one run, you could get about like 300 wood scrap from there and able to use it for your build. Best to keep stack up when you want to build your camp. And if you are lazy to do such, ask a friend or build a box like most players already did. Again, this is your camp, I can't really tell you what to do. I had fun making my camp and I just want to show you guys, you know, do have fun making camps. You know, camp is one of those very important features in Fallout 76. Um, and it's it's fun to have like you know a great camp to have, go back to and and relax to you know so that is it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching again this is a video that I normally would never do uh, this is like maybe just a one off video maybe you guys won't see it but I do have something special for you guys who did consider staying this entire time special bit I recorded for myself and I thought it would be just be fun just to use it to promote this camp just a little bit more um if you want me to build other stuff like maybe fnaf 2 or fnaf 4 house or any other suggestion leave it in the comment down below and maybe you know we can happen we could have live streams here and there and we could have fun making some random camps uh, most of the stuff you just saw this happen on stream as well i did it on twitch so if you want to be part of it and watch it in real time then follow me on twitch and most likely we'll be live streaming there every so often playing fallout 76 or any other games Anyways, that is it for this video. If you like what you saw, please leave a like and comment down below. If you want to stay updated and support the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button as it does support the channel. Anyways, I hope you guys all have a good day and see you in the wasteland. Peace out. Good day to you, officer. Hello, I am Officer Mike. I came from the Responder Refuge at Wikes Bank. We have gotten a report in your area that four refugees has disappeared in this area. We want to know if you have seen anything. Uh, no, I have not seen anything at all, Officer. Truth be told, it is a bit of a wasteland out there, so it wouldn't be shocking that they disappear around here with the ghouls, gopers, and factories surrounded by a bunch of robots as well. Uh, uh, I see. Well then, do you have any ideas where they can disappear to or can you give me any leads? Well, like I said, there is a factory with a bunch of robots down the road. I did submit this to the responders or the... Well, uh, as well, make it more safer to go down these roads. Okay, well understood. I'll go and scope it out and take a look into this issue. Thank you for the information. Hope you have a good day as well. Cool animatronic. Well, goodbye officer. Wait. What animatronic?